So I'm driving. Uh, this is part two of my review series, I guess. I'm gonna talk about Old Star by Dark Throne. It's interesting that a lot of people 
love it, but, you know, if you want to listen to a true black metal album, there's tons of other black metal albums to listen to, especially from, you know, the group who sort of brought it into that 90s sound, the uh, Norwegian black metal sound of the 90s. Because before that, they were more uh, death metal. Of course, you could hear their sound developing. You can always hear a, a band's sound developing before the next album comes out. Um, it reminds me of uh, Pantera's uh, power metal. You know, you could hear some things on there. There's a song that was um, excised from uh, Cowboys from Hell, which sounds like a power metal uh, afterthought. Power metal came out in 1988. Cowboys from Hell, obviously, 1990. But anyway, it's... Uh, off-topic thought there, but just, um, I don't know, the album makes me feel, it puts me in a certain mood, it puts me in a good mood. Listening to it takes my mind off of things that makes me feel at ease about maybe life in general, I don't know. Um, and overall, again, every song does not sound the same, but every song is obviously catered to this, uh, this mood of the album that they portray. But, I don't want to ramble on too long. Hopefully I've said enough about it. Um, I, I personally love it. I need Sony to buy it on vinyl. Maybe I'll just pick up a black copy, uh, black, uh, a black, um, regular black pressing. Uh, I wanted to get that box set, and I would. I don't like 7-inch singles, but I would get up and switch it for that, for that album on every song, because it's worth it. And of course you get better sound quality with those 7-inches, but it's like a 7-inch, um, the album's spread across three discs, obviously six sides for that box set. I wanted to get that one. It was on Amazon, I think, but it went away, and now I haven't bought it. So probably just going to pick up a, one of the 33 and a third um, cut vinyls and just have that in my possession. might have to be, a, like I said, a regular black, black pressing at this point. I didn't get any uh, the variants and now that I think they've gone up in price for the for the Clippers. But anyway, I personally love the album. I, I, I've never, on another note, I've never listened to an album that many times. Usually I listen to them, um, you know, a couple of times when I get it and then I'll get my other albums. But this one, I, I have it on repeat. I've uh, been listening to it in the car, so a lot of long drives, maybe it just soothes, it soothes or eases Something about the long nature of the drives uh, in, in regards to my job where I have a, a lot of driving in between locations. So, I don't know, I love it. Dark Throne, Old Star 2019 from New Century Media. I keep, I keep confusing this. Anyway, so go check it out. I like it, you may not like it. You're entitled to your own opinion. Anyway, this is Logan and I'm signing off. Still got a, a ways to go back to Los Angeles, but see you next time.